Hello. Ah. <laughs> Greetings. I was not sure if we were going to come in here. I saw that there was another game going on. And I know yeah. that sometimes they use the voice room. So I tried calling you, but I guess... Oh, oh so we save it for the, um, the sealed deck. They're not they using it, though. It. They're not using it. Because uh, they've been playing for a while. Can you make extra rooms? Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, there's another... I think there's another room already. The Prancing Pony. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you know this Charlie seventy nine that's joined I as a spectator? Don't, I don't. I'll tell him we're in the card number room just in case. Okay, she's got some questions. He might be a pro. Ah, how are you? Me? I'm good. How are you? I had another busy day. Oh, but you, but you didn't lie on the couch or take it. No, I didn't. I didn't forget our game tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but oh. I, I, it reminded me of that same day because I went through the same exhausting, more work than it should be kind of tasks that you have. Oh. On a day that lasts too long and oh. deadlines and just a lot of things going on at once. And so when the day was over, I was really ready for it. And I remembered how I was that way last week and fell asleep. <laughs> so, but you're able to just switch off and do yeah. the birth. It doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't add to your tiredness. No, no, I just need to remember that I was going to play. Yeah, Because right. <laughs> that was the problem the last time. I just, it, it was, my mind was just finally re relaxing from all the work, and I just totally forgot. Mm. So, okay, do you want to, um, do you want to just uh, move on here? Or are we waiting? I didn't know if Charlie was going to answer us back. Yeah. Well, I'll just type in something to him to the effect. Um, in case he's wondering why nothing's sure. happening. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I acknowledge the EOT. Right. So I think it's my turn. It looks like it's passed yep. to me, and I've got to start turn. So, and have you? And are we recording? Uh, yeah. So, let me adjust my screen here, real okay, quick. Okay. So no swearing, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. There. We're good. Okay. okay. Um, so I was last. Two members short of the full nine in the fellowship. Um, uh, which reminded me of something. Is there a limit on how many characters you can have? Yes, there is. The limit is seven. Uh -huh. And the way that they do nine actual characters is because hobbits count half towards the company size. Oh, so it's seven with that half, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. So it's, uh, it's five and then four halves. Yeah. Well, so, not so, that I was going to, not that I was bothered about it, but I was just it's curious, it was yeah. legit. And that's a limit, yeah. that's a limit that's stuck uh, with the game. You know, you had, you're not allowed to have a company size bigger than that. Mm. So, all so right. If they modeled that on the fellowship. Yeah. I suppose it's a fairly arbitrary number, what they said as the limit. Otherwise, that might have been what motivated them mm -hmm. to set it up. Exactly. Um, so I've got a lot of corruption on me. I need to get rid of yes, I need to get right. rid of yes. everything if I can. Um, and it looks like there's an on guard card on the old forest from last yes. turn. Oh, so that shouldn't be. Yeah, because I'm just starting my turn. That it that got left over when I moved there, and it looks like I did nothing at the site. Mm. Uh, 
so I wonder if I can drag that. Uh, I've that's got what a I hand in mind, so I'll, I think I'll try dragging it to the discard. Yep. That works. Okay. That's easy. Yeah. So I've got two on. I had another one in my hand. So okay, yes. good. Two corruption cards on Gandalf. Um, neither one of them trigger now uh, for a check, but he is going to try to remove them. Uh, there, each one of them is greater than a six, so I think he's going to tap to try to remove the lure of the senses. So he needs greater than a six. Ah. Okay, now for this, he needs greater than a nine. He's already tapped. Because he's already tapped. <laughs> I needed greater than a six and I got a six. I needed greater than a nine and I got a nine. Okay. I was just checking to see what's the difference between Lure of the Senses and Lure of Creation. Lure of Creation is oh. only playable on a wizard and it play mm. it triggers when he moves to a haven. The other one triggers when you untap at a haven. Ah, right. Yep. Yep. So fairly subtle. Pretty. Yeah. The one, the lure of creation is more is wizard specific. The the lure of the senses yep. can be played on anybody, which it makes it a yep. great card because all the uh, there's a lot that won't play on hobbits or dwarves, and you have to limit mm. uh, what you can play on them. It's lure of the senses yep. always works. So Aragorn's got one, and he's going to tap, and he needs greater than a five. Yeah. So at least we got one of them off. Yep. And he's the one that's got four. Yeah, he's got four. Already. Yep. So we're going to move Let's Oh, that's a relief I keep thinking Sam's in my company <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so let's leave them where they are now. Now I'm going to play a chance meeting. So this says a character, even a hobbit, may be brought into play with direct influence at any freehold, border hold, or ruins and layers. So we're at a border hold. So Legolas comes in under Gandalf's direct influence. Six and four is ten, yeah. And I've got uh, Aragorn and Frodo is fourteen and Mary is eighteen. Uh, wait, hold on. Hang on, you've got fourteen and eight's twenty-three at the moment. Yeah, I'm trying to see where I need to what I need to do here. I think it would be it'd be too much for me to juggle all these di adders and. Uh, so Aragorn's got three plus, oh, plus three is six. Oh yeah, he's not using the plus one on the Nazgul. So. Okay. Um, two. Fifteen. Gandalf. Oh, I know what I can do. I know what it was. Gandalf has the ring. He can. He has twelve direct influence. So right uh, now I've got three fours, maybe. I've got yeah. Let's do that. So then you'd go nine, five, and six. Yes, that works. Yeah, twelve under Gandalf and twenty GI. Yeah, I mean, and Frodo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So they, I, that's why they had to be, but that's what I had to do to get Legolas in. He yep, had to yep. come. He had to be able to come in under direct influence. So I had to shuffle everybody out, let Gandalf bring him in, and then rearrange so that he can control all the characters. And now I've got yep. zero free. 
general influence, but I've got two more character points. Um, 11 cards left in the deck. I'm not sure what else I do, I'm supposed to do with this deck, but I think I've got one or two um, options left. So we're going to move... It was mainly about building the company, so yeah, yeah sure, okay. sure. And I'm just looking for I'm looking for ways to make it an actual playable, viable deck. Um, but you've managed to get something under faction item alloy character, as right? Well. Right. And you're not over a half character uh -uh. for your total, so it's all there. Yeah. Okay. Um. And like I said, this deck was actually built with cards from the other, the later sets. And there's some cards there that really work to make this playable with all nine characters. Because I don't have enough to control Bjorn. I mean, not Bjorn, uh, Boromir. I couldn't bring him in. So he's he's I, he's in the game in spirit. He's over there at his home site with your yeah. with your team. Yeah. <laughs> But so okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and uh, oh, and I've got that string of Nazgul permanent events out there. Mm. All right. So the movement hazard phase. Um, we're gonna go to Goblin Gate. Here, here, and here. So triple wilderness. To a shadow hold. You get two cards. I'll get one. Uh, oh yeah, yep. And I have a two limit cards. of one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. And you can only play one corruption card on each character per movement. Correct. Phase. Correct. Is that right? That's yep. right. Yep. Okay, so I'll play. the senses on Aragorn. Uh, and that, I think, is all I can do. On, oh, hang on, look at that here. a lure of expedience so I'm just debating whether to wait a turn and try and get it onto <laughs> Aragorn or mm -hmm. put it on Legolas or Gimli <laughs> yeah. I think it'd do more damage if I can get it on Aragorn Absolutely. so I'll hold off uh, yeah so I'll go no more hazards okay I'm gonna go back to nine so I'll go back to eight We'll go into the sight phase. Um, Goblin Gate, the orcs, three strikes with six prowess. Um, we'll face that. We'll go Sam, Frodo, and Gimli. Sam plays a halfling stealth. And cancels his. Uh, 
Gimli is plus two against orcs, so he's a seven. Down to a four not tapping, so he's automatic. Yep. Four to six. And Frodo will play another halfling stealth. Nice. Getting all these cards out of my hand. Um, I was going to get Gollum, but I think instead of doing that, I think we're going to get a ring. Okay. And that's it. So I'm going to go back up to eight. Acknowledge the end of turn. Thinking what I'm gonna need next turn. So I got another one more item point. Okay, that's it for me. Okay. I'm moving some of my cards down. I hope that's not going to be confusing. They're still under Gandalf's no. control. All three of the, the minor hobbits, the four yeah. minders. Um, but it makes the screen, like you were saying, it looks like it's overlapping mm. companies. I can't, I couldn't see what's going on. And if I zoom out too much, it doesn't, it, it, it's, they look like little dots. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay. Starting the turn, untap all. Check what all we got. So, Berrigond has got Guard here. Rahul's got Quick Beam. Oh, that's nice. Jeez, so they both got an ally. Uh huh. And, Boromir, and you've got, got a the Ranger. Ring, so, he, so, he's yeah, a Ranger. So he's become a Ranger. Yep. I've got a company size of. Four. Yep. He became a ranger in honor of his fallen brother. <laughs> and right, when the steers. Okay, yep. And I've got a sun ready to play, so that's good. That's the television, if you can hear that siren. Oh, yes, I can, yep. <laughs> Nothing to worry about on this end. Right, okay, I've got a fellowship, so I'll be wanting to move to Haven at some stage. Uh, but I've also got other marshalling point cards, so I've got a choice between going to Haven and getting the fellowship down, or going for a faction or another ally. Hmm. Let's see, where are they playable? So if I've got Riders of Rowan at Edoras. Well, that'd be a good one to go for because I've got a um, White Mountains. So I could use that to reduce the hazard limit mm -hmm. to with the second effect. Yeah, so I might do that. So that's at the end of the organization phase. So I'll say I'll play White Mountains. Right. So I don't have to tap the Ranger, no. Nope. So I'm organized. Um, take off my long events, I haven't got any. Play new ones. There's no opponent on events. Mm -hmm. It's, it's interesting how the sun can operate even though doors of night's on the table. Yeah, because it doesn't require uh, gates of morning to be in play. Um, you can't have doors and gates both in play, but they can have their opposite enhancers. Ah. Uh, as long as they come out afterwards, because when doors of night comes into play, um, all resource environment cards are discarded. And all resource environment effects are cancelled, but it doesn't prevent ones from later coming in like you just played now. 
Mm. Is yeah. it the same with gates? Does it? Mm-hmm. It does works gates the same way. Cancel doors. Yeah. So does that mean you can't have doors and gates at the same time? No, you can't. No, no. But you can have long events of the opposite. You know, right. Like you're saying. Yeah. Right. Okay. As long as they don't require oh. the, the the respective enhanced card to be there, like if it says playable only if Gates of Morning is in play. Yep. Forgot to grab uh, my uh, Eteros. No, I just grab that quickly. Uh huh. Before I start moving to this, that's <laughs> what I've put down. All right. So movement has a phase. Going to Eteris, so that's the region movement. Steer of Fizzing Anorian, yep. All right, I draw one and one, and I'm using the second effect, so it's two hazards instead of four. Mm -hmm. And I've got my Plus one on the dude then for the sun. I'm going to put the will of Sauron in play. That does nothing of, it, of in and of itself, but it will lock the hazard long events as long as it and Doors of Night are in play. Mm. But not for long. Your play deck's about to exhaust. That's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I've got another one in my hand. That's why I played it. <laughs> uh, right. <laughs> and I've got another Nazgul to play to the table. Are you going to bring back that one that makes me discard everything? I oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Surely you wouldn't do it to me three times in one game. <laughs> well, that's, the whole, that's the whole premise of this. It's the, it's the Kamul yeah. discard deck. And uh, it, you can you can kind of laugh at it or say, yeah, I can I can survive it, but if you get hit twice with it, it's brutal. It you know you you've been holding on to certain cards that you need, and that you're counting on that one card, and you're not going to discard it, but then you have to discard it. It can wreck your game. Yeah, All right. I'm thinking. You've almost got to play. What is it? Is it that praise of Vilbruth? Is that uh -huh. one that uh -huh. forces the discards? Yeah. So I almost think now yeah, I've got to put that on my sideboard. <laughs> Keep it. This has got to be a permanent addition <laughs> to stop me doing this. So what's my? I won't do it again. This is just one. This is just. I, I want you to see all the different strategies. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't mind if you do though. But no, it's it's one and done. It's you know you've seen. I why go if there's so many different strategies that you can see. Yeah. Why yeah. just because one is effective? Why stick with it? Keep playing the different strategies, especially so you can see them. I suppose with them all there, you could start tapping some of them for their for their other effects. Yeah. Their individual effects. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So and again, that requires familiarity to be able to. To know what's on the table and w mm -hmm. when to use which one. Mm -hmm. For example, Ren, I would not tap Ren. He's the one that causes everybody to make a corruption check. Mm, to be no point at the moment. Yeah. If That's I were to get, to if I were to get one of oh, your characters wounded, well, it won't work on a ring. I was going to say Indoor Dawn Death, the the Nazgul by the Doors of Night. Mm. He can tap and make a wounded character discard an item. Mm, yeah. Not yes. a ring. I don't know why okay. not a ring. But mm. So they're yeah, they're all they all they each have their purpose, but when you put them all together the purpose is for them to work with Kamul. So how many yeah. ha how many hazards uh do I have to play? Two? Two. Two, yeah. So I'm yeah. done. So that's two. So I'm done. Yep. All right. Okay, so I discard Ministereth into the location deck. I didn't tap. I'm at Edoras, and I've got Riders of 
throw hand. So that's greater than nine, plus one for Dunedan. Uh, have I got anyone that gets an extra bonus? No, Is only the Dunedan there? bonus. So. Oh, Blando's plus ten, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, he's automatic. <laughs> he's an automatic. <laughs> yeah, what am I talking about? Okay, so I'll score. Three. Yeah, there's only a couple of factions that can say no to wizards. Uh, so that taps the land, taps the sword. Sun stays on. Oh, that all happened in the site. Uh, That's okay. I've just got to change. I'll just up to, I'll down to seven for a sec. I'll do that trick. Oh, yeah. Go into the site phase. Card none pro now. <laughs> uh, so end of turn phase. Uh, keep all those. So moving towards your hazard cell. So yep, I'll get rid of that. Oh, I still haven't gone to eight, nine, have I? Better? Okay. I think, um, I think I'm going to keep the hand I've got. Mm hmm. And over to you. Okay. So I untap everybody. Gandalf is going to tap to test the precious gold ring. And what I want it to turn into is a lesser ring and any result will work. So I don't need to roll. I just need to discard the precious gold ring and it turns into a lesser ring. Okay. Now he has four direct influence so he can actually control Mary who is above him right now so that frees up a little bit of Gandalf's direct influence Gandalf's got Sam uh, Sam and Pippin are in his control yep um, we're going to try to remove this corruption Gandalf is tapped so unfortunately he's going to take a minus three to each of these rolls um he needs greater than a nine twice so for the yeah. lure of creation he gets it yes ah very good and for the lure of the senses again he needs a 10 or better he doesn't get it. Uh, did you say ten or better? Six and three. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, no, he needs yeah, greater. Than, he needs greater than a nine. So he needed a ten. Oh yeah, ten or better. Yep, 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 yep. So Aragorn is tapping, and he's going to try to remove the lure of the senses, and he needs greater than a six. Like this is this is not what I wanted to see. Yes, because you know I Because I know the what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ouch. Okay. Um Well, 
we're going to go ahead and move and at least I've got some characters that can tap for some corruption check support. Maybe, maybe I should. Oh, you think you're going to a haven, are you? Maybe uh, you should not bother going to a haven. I'm, I'm looking at what else is coming in that. Like if a lure of nature comes out on Aragorn, what that would mean. He's going to transfer Narsil. He's going to let Frodo hold his sword. So he's okay. got to check at six. And we'll go five, four, three. So he's got to check at three. All right. So Frodo now has three corruption but he's got plus four aragorn has four corruption and he's about to get some more <laughs> yep <laughs> and and at least i've still got a couple of characters untapped hmm Yeah, that's how it's got to be. All right. Uh, yeah, because you weren't using the plus one from Narsil, so that's all good. So we're going to go to Moria. And we're going to go this way. Moria. So you can draw three. I can draw two. Played apart from the um, the corruption. Cor corruption was some dragons with dragons desolation, but I've just not got this, the the sort of deck you've played. You just even with dragons desolation, I've had the combination at different times. And I've been avoiding them, it, haven't I? Yeah, you've been good. You've well, been I didn't know it wasn't intentional. Site. It was or not intentional, but I'm glad that it no. was not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And even now, your your doors of nights in play, and you're moving into a a shadow, uh -huh. a shadow hold. And I, I've got smog in my hand, but I can't play him. You're at the wrong place. With doors of night, you can go Grey Mountain Narrows, Iron Hills, Northern Revenue, Wizard Heath. Yeah. Uh, anyway. Oh, I need to go into movement hazard phase. I'm sorry. Right, so... I've got another lure of create. <laughs> go ahead. Lure of creation, so that will go back. <laughs> He's getting sick of seeing these. And as we discussed, I've got a lure of expedience. So Aragorn's a good candidate for uh, that. Uh, <laughs> All you need now is like a corpse candle. Yeah. Make everybody make a corruption check. But unfortunately, I haven't. Uh, 
you know, have got an ambusher. An ambusher. So, well, so we're going to cancel that. Ah, right we're going to play as Dark use... Quarrels. Oh, yep. So and just man... cancel the man attack automatically. Yep. And that is it. So no more hazards on that hand size. Next move, hazard. Okay. So we'll go into the sight phase. I discard Goblin Gate. There's another Dark Quarrels for the automatic attack. The Orc okay. uh, automatic attack. Yep. And Sam gets a grip around Gollum's neck. And makes him his ally. <laughs> uh, but so, you won't be using Gollum's special ability. No. <laughs> Not for a no. long shot. He's just this again. This is just a little. I'm trying to do it themey. I'm trying to get the the, yeah. the allies that they really got or that were really part of the fellowship. Um, yep, yep. Same with the stuff, except some of the stuff just doesn't work, like the Arkenstone. You have to have that to control Gimli. So yep. certain things are not really 100% mm. thematic, but I'm going to yep. go ahead and draw back up. Um, acknowledge end of turn discard. I need to redeck. Okay, I've given you a done. Okay. You didn't want to bring anything in from your sideboard? Nah, I'm not going to mess with it. Okay. Ah, so it's back to me. Start that turn. Tap on. Okay, so I want to get that fellowship in play, so I'll go back to a Haven, I'll go back to Lorien. And... Oh, I had a miss... Yeah, so I've got a Misty Mountains in my hand, so I'll tap nice. Boromir again for the second effect. Okay. And I'll go into a long event phase, so sun comes off. Mm-hmm. Haven't got any others to play. So I'm in. Oh, I've got to get my sight card. Oh, I did. I, no, I got it. I just didn't play it on the table. That's what it was. Okay, so movement hazard. Oh, the will so, of Sauron goes away because my play deck exhausted. So I just oh, yeah. got that off the table. All right, so it's a slash P. And it's two. One card each? Oh, reduced by two, isn't it? So it's three. Oh, no, two, yeah. Mm -hmm. Two hazards, mm -hmm. yep, yeah, and one each. Hmm. I'll put that in play. Now, see, I made the mistake again of letting the hazard limit run out before I could get um, Kamul back out of my discard and my play deck reshuffled. I, I burned through my deck. So, uh, Tim, what happened? Explain it again. Um, you had Mount the, the, This guy can tap to get a creature. Yep. From my discard pile. And what he was going to get was the other Nazgul, Kamul, 
who is the yep. one that makes you discard all the cards. But before I tapped this guy to get Kamul, I went through my deck, and now my discard pile uh, does not have Kamul in it anymore. He's back in the uh, play deck. It's in your play. Uh, so you can hold on to you can hold on to the mouth of Sauron too long, and you can wait too long to tap Uvatha. Because if you burn through your deck, there's all of a sudden you have nothing in your discard pile. Yep. <laughs> and I've done that many times, and I still yeah, keep I doing can. it. I'm sure I'm going to do it. Okay. So I discarded the Will of Sauron. Um, I played Adonifel. And one more. And one more. We'll put this other Will of Sauron back out. Okay. And then that's all I have. Alright, so the Misty Mountains discards. Uh, Edoras discards. I go into the site phase. Nothing's happening. Mm -hmm. I go end of turn. I will discard one. Draw one. Give you the DOT. Alright. Okay. Them all. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. You got seven of them out. Eight. Eight. I've got. You mean the, of the fellowship? Oh, oh, oh! You're counting the Nazgul. You're yeah. Counting the Nazgul. <laughs> I was counting my characters, but it's the same it's thing. Interesting. Yeah. Try to get all nine yeah. out. All nine uh, black riders and all nine walkers. It's a bit like Mahjong. <laughs> you have your nine different piles. Uh -huh. like you, have you played Mahjong? Like, say, all the nine, one to nine of characters or one to nine of... Right. I know it. My mom plays it. <clears throat> okay, let's get rid of some of this corruption. Please. Gandalf <laughs> is going to tap to remove the lure of creation. So he needs greater than a six. Good. Yep. Now he's going to try to remove the lure of the senses. He needs greater than a nine. No. Aragorn is going to tap to remove the lure of the senses. He needs greater than a six. <sighs> Ugh. He's going to try to remove the lure of expedience. He needs greater than an eight. <laughs> the corruption. Ugh. It's All right. A, you can see why it's, I mean, you can see why it's so popular, this corruption. It's so yeah. easy to play and so problematic. Yeah, absolutely. You keep tapping your characters. Yeah. It almost uh -huh. seems a bit. I don't know, a bit mean to play it. Okay, this is bad what, playing in corruption strategy. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to move Mary down to the end. I'm going to give Mary's with Gandalf at the moment, isn't he? Um, I will figure it out. Yeah, I think he is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, or was it, it Pippin? One of the two? Yeah, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give Legolas's ring to Mary. Okay. So Mary has one corruption, but he's got a plus two. Now Aragorn is gonna give the Argonstone to Mary. So he's got a check of six again. We're going to go five, four, three. So a corruption check of three. Yep. And the Arkenstone 
goes down there to Mary. So Mary now has three corruption points, but he's got plus two. So he's effectively got one point on him. He's also got, to control Gimli, he's got one direct. He's got two more for the ring is three. And then three more from the Arkenstone is six to control a dwarf. So Gimli will go under Mary's control. <laughs> now... <laughs> This does not sound very believable. <laughs> he's Gimli's chasing after him because oh, he stole the yeah, Arkenstone. Yeah, because he's holding the Arkenstone. Because yeah. he stole the Arkenstone. <laughs> yeah, and you see Gimli has an axe in his hand, too. He's not happy. Yeah. He's not happy to no. be following Mary. Give it back. <laughs> <laughs> um. <sighs> Aragorn, yeah, see, the corruption on Aragorn is killing me. So, so you've got Aragorn, Legolas is 15. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't think I can, I've got to move somebody around here. I got to put, I got to put Narsil. Back on Aragorn. And he does that without a check. He's automatic. Mm. So now Aragorn has four direct influence. And he's controlling Pippin, who's right below him. Right. So no one's and... I have to max out oh, Gandalf. So you could put, can you put Legolas under Gandalf? Yeah, yeah. That would be ten, and then you do so. Nine, there's ten, five, four, yeah. Then you got eighteen GI, I think. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's right. Gandalf, and Gandalf has doesn't even need, need it. Gandalf doesn't even need the ring, so I think no. I'm going to put the ring on Pippin. So. <laughs> Gandalf's yep. got a check of two. He's got three, but he's got a plus one to his roll. And Frodo is going to tap and make it automatic. And we're going to put the ring. Okay. This is the most organizing I've ever done on a single game. Mm. I don't think I've mm. ever done this much, but... <laughs> okay. It'd be, it'd be too much for me to try and do. I'm, uh, I'm just following what you're doing, but I wouldn't like to be trying to work it out. Well, we're going to... They're a lot more evenly spread now. Yeah. Although Ar yeah, Aragorn's still uh -huh. five. Aragorn's still the... He's the weak link in this whole thing. And he's he's got to have Narsil to control Pippin. Mm-hmm. Huh. Um. Okay. We're organized. We're gonna go back to the old forest. So Redhorn Gate to Cardolan. Triple Wilderness. You can draw one. one. All right. Well, would you believe no hazards? No hazards. I'll discard hmm. the one hazard I had that was no good to me. Next movement has. So I need to discard one. Uh, hang on to that one. Get rid of that. Okay. No, uh, nothing forced any corruption checks there. So we're going to go to the site phase. I'm going to untap Frodo with the halfling strength. Okay. And then he's going to tap 
Cold Berry. So that's one outline. She can tap. Yeah, she's that good one that can tap to cancel. Uh, cancel the uh, the effects that send you back, attack. like snowstorm. Mm. And to cancel the attack against coming yes. into wilderness. Yeah. Uh huh. Handy. My EOT discard right. Right. So. Done. Okay. Then. That then and I pull. So it's the organization phase. So mm -hmm. I'll play the fellowship. Hurrah! If you click on that, it, you it will put it. You can put it on somebody like your wizard or whoever. Great. Handy. Yeah, so it's plus one um, for each, yep. Now. In the sealed deck tournament that they're playing right now, um, there's a lot of fellowships, because in a sealed deck, that's a really powerful card. Okay. So there's a lot of, a lot of fellowships out in like pretty much every game. Which is interesting because not that's not really a, a competitive deck card, but in a sealed deck, it's powerful. It's you know corruption and prowess boost. It's it's great. So why do you say it's not a com it's not normally a competitive deck? Card? Well, because you're gonna be you're gonna be trying to play quickly, and it will break up if you get an ally. It will it will break it will go away if you split the company up. All of the things that smart players do quickly to get their points as fast as possible. Uh, it's not a it's, mm. fellowship doesn't really play well with that style. But in a but in a okay. in a sealed deck, the cards are you're limited to whatever it is that you get. So what are normally Lousy cards actually have some effectiveness because people don't have, you know, you've got creatures like wolves that totally not even enhanced are still doing damage to characters because people don't have the, the combat cards. It's, an, it's really interesting. You see a lot of cards played that you would not normally see played because they're, the options yeah. of what you've got to put into your deck are really so random. Yep. Um, I've just realised that I, th I think I made an error because I've played my fellowship, but I've got a ca character. I should have played the character first. Pull the flow. Take the fellowship back to your hand. If I, if I play or just a leave it out there. Hand, say you played the character the first. Fellowship. Play the character, and we'll say you played it first. That's fine. Okay. All right. So that's another easy mistake to make it is and if you're playing a friendly game you should expect to be able to back up at half a turn and do that <laughs> uh, thank you I would be mad if someone said no you can't I'd say yeah, okay friendly, oh, yeah. oh that's how we're playing okay alright well I'll remember that the yeah. next time you do something yeah as long as it's the same both ways <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'd mind either way as long as it's Along with people are up front. Um, so I might make him a follower of Palando. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Just so that I keep my five free GI. All right. So you've got so a lot more. Do you have more characters now, or is that everybody? That is everybody, isn't it? Uh, oh no, you have to tally on tally Baratar in. Uh, right? You have Imrahil and Boromir for three. Yep. But then you've got another Baratar. two with Baratar. Oh, uh, yes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm just going to decide what I'm doing. 
So did you say um, getting an ally breaks the fellowship? It does. I thought it did. Ally. It does because the allies count as the fourth character or, uh, for purposes of joining, oh. of, of, of establishing a fellowship and also for breaking a fellowship. So you can have yeah, two characters. Yeah. You could have two characters each with an ally or you could have one character with three allies and you could play a fellowship on him. Mm. That would be interesting. Oh, yes. That would be yeah, that would be a really yeah. cool thing. I, I like that idea. Do, yeah. All of a sudden, I want to try that now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, okay. uh, yeah. So three fellowships on a one character company. The hazard limit would be one. Would be two. And uh, and he'd have plus three prowess, plus three corruption checks, as would all of the allies that he's carrying. <laughs> That's funny. All right. So, did you have an ally that you wanted to go get, or you were just questioning whether that would cause the fellowship? I, I, ha I have got an ally, but I've got something else I can do. I'll, I'll have to discard the ally. I probably should have gone and got him before I formed the fellowship. On well, you know what? If you want to take, you you, you haven't still haven't done anything this turn. You just you played a I, you played a character. You can keep the fellowship in your yeah. hand. Re you've rethought it. Uh, Put the fellowship yeah. back in your hand if you want to, if you want to get your ally. Uh, I don't mind. Yeah, all right. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, I'll put that back in the location deck. So it's, I'll, Either I'll, way, we're we're going through all the options, which is really... Yeah. That's yeah. fine I'm, with I'm me. I'm learning all the different mistakes you can make. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, I'm reminded of all the mistakes that I make because I'm making them over again. Uh, all right, so a different. I'll go to a different site. Get my ally. Now, actually, let me just think about this a bit more because it's Treebeard who's restricted in his movement options. Oh right. So you know what you could do is you could send. You could split up. Because you could still yeah. play, you could play your fellowship now anyway, on the other guys with the two allies, and Boromir if you want to keep him with them, and then your wizard and Beratar could move independently to get and yeah, could get yeah, that yeah. sounds good. All right, okay, so back to so I'll put the fellowship on uh, um, oh, Imra Hill. Mm -hmm. It, it did, did. Yeah. yeah. It's on him right behind yeah. uh, Quick Beam. Yeah. All right. And now I'll grab a couple of side cards. Fellowship company is pretty imposing. <laughs> they, uh, you got a lot of points there. You got a lot of allies. You got a lot of prowess. I mean, they're uh, they're out stomping around. The land, uh, a ranger. He is all right. So I'll play um, White Mountains okay. for Lando's company. Okay. Uh, it'll be the second effect. Uh, so like move two, yeah. Has limit reduced by. Oh two. no, no, no! Oh, that no. doesn't do anything because he's only got two hazard limit anyway. Right. Uh, the company is. So it would be more the adjacent effect. Um, no, I'll take him back. Okay. Yep, I'll save him. Uh, I'll play. Forward, and I'll tap Boromir. Right. And I'll 
also play another forward and is it a, it's a tap isn't it yeah mm-hmm. I'll tap mm-hmm. oh Berita that's handy he's a ranger yeah very good he's the uh, he's the duplicate of Faramir in all ways except for the faction and the home site yep same points, same mind, same DI, same bonus on his home army, same prowess and uh, body. It's just one is at Athelion at Hennethanun, and the other one is up in uh, Bree. All right, so I'm going to play Sun. All in right. The organization. Mm-hmm. I'm into the movement hazard phase. I'm going to pick up four when I finally. Yeah, I'll move the. I'll move Palando first. Mm hmm. So he's going to Welling Hall. So two from, wilderness, and I, I can't play creatures Lorien. key to wilderness. And it's one eight. Go one. Well, Twilight, the Sun. Okay. That seems thematic. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll play a Morgul Knight, changing all wilderness to Shadowlands. Uh, here we go. But that's all I have. No more hazards. Oh, yeah, because it's your limit, isn't it? That's the two, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yep, so I discard that board. And then the other... Oh, and then I draw back. That's good. Oh, oh you've no, gone through I've your deck? deck? Yeah. And if you want to swap uh, cards from your sideboard, that's fine. I don't mind waiting. I can go grab a drink, in fact, if you want to take a minute. Uh, yeah, all right. So, yep. so I'll be right back. Yep. Okay. Looks like you've done lots of moving of cards. I've done three. I've got two more to go. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of this. I've got a nice easy one to get rid of. I had three lost in the wilderness in my Uh my deck. But Uh because you've got such a big company, it's not doing anything. So they're an easy discard. This seems like a good... um... A good challenge for Reswitz to come up with a quick, easy way to swap five from your sideboard and your play deck. <laughs> like if there's a way, you know, some sort of a script that he could build that would pop up both decks and let you click mm-hmm. on five cards in one and click on five cards in the other and they just switch. Yep. Uh. So, so now I've drawn back. So now it's the second cup mm-hmm. company. So they're Glad going to gladden the fields. So I get one. So that's, so that's a slash P. Huh. I have no hazards in my hand. 
<laughs> You're <scared>. welcome. <laughs> don't, don't discard the Ford. Don't discard Lorian. And I'm going to go back to nine. Discard that. Okay, undead one strike with eight. face the attack with a tapped character or does it have to be an untapped no, one? No, you're only allowed to assign to untapped. Yep, okay. But you could assign it okay. to your ally. Oh, I forgot about them, yeah. Now you, yeah, so I was... You, can assign, you cannot assign it to Quick Beam, but you can assign it to Guahir. And don't forget, too, that you have a fellowship, so everybody is plus one prowess. Okay, yep. All right, so if I mouse over Gua here, oh no, first of all, I was supposed to type in enter. That's okay. There you go. And I've moused over Gua here. So he he's a five tap. Mhm. Mm yep, yeah, he's a five versus because of the eight. fellowship. So he's a five versus a eight. And you could actually tap quick beam. Oh, I could... Tap quick beam to support him. Yep, I like it. So then he, now he's a six and he can't fail. No need to roll. Yep, okay. Yep, great. All right, and so I'll play a beautiful gold ring. Mm-hmm. And I'll tap him, tap the site, and that's worth a point. Uh, this is actually I'm meant to be doing this in the site phase. That's all right. So again, I've no problem. I'll have to just reduce. Just just go go. You can second. go to hand size now, and then just click on through and and. I did the trick. Good, good. <laughs> he likes doing the trick. Um. Uh, actually, so I'm in the site phase, but I've got to do my other company. Yeah. Yeah, yep. they've got to get... Uh, I was tribute. about to do the end of turn, yeah. Tribute. So Wellinghall, yep. Yep, so I click on Treebeard. Uh, which does tap right. So he's a two... Now I go to the end of turn phase. Mm -hmm. Do I want to discard anything? Right, more corruption to get rid of. Gandalf taps to try to remove the lure of the senses. He needs greater than a six. Got yeah. it. Better. Aragorn taps to try to remove the lure of the senses. He needs greater than a six. <laughs> this is better. Same roll. A two and a five. Okay, now he needs yep. greater than an eight to remove the lure of expedience. Yeah. I can't complain, though. Getting two of those cards off nah. is nice. Um... The Morgul Knight changes all wilderness to Shadowlands. 
And it also does that. So like if you are playing a, is it Dragon's Desolation that looks at the path on the site card? Yep. Yep. It, yep. it changes, Morgul Knight changes those too. So the, the wilderness on a site card on the path on the side oh, are shadow I can lands. See. Stops you playing Dragon's Desolation based yeah. on the Yeah, okay. It's kind of a it's kind of a cheesy thing, but that's the way it works. Yeah. Okay. And we're organized, and we'll go into the movement hazard phase. So we're moving, we're in one region, Cardolan, so it's a shadow land because of the Morgul Knight. But I am moving to a ruins and layers, and you can draw two. Okay. I draw one. You have a hazard limit of as many cards as you have to play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so hazard of creation six. on Gandalf. <laughs> <laughs> and allure of the senses on Marathon. <sighs> Yeah. I have to stay away from the havens. Those lures mm. of the senses have been terrible. That's the third one, though, I think. Uh, and I'll say no more hazards. I'm at nine. All right. Next week, let's go down to eight. Go to the sight phase. Um, we enter. One at eight. I'll let Gimli take it. He's gonna tap. He's a five versus eight. And Sam will tap to get Gandalf's sword. And Aragorn is going to have a corruption check of two, four, six. And. Oh, this is why you didn't support Gimli's auto attack yeah. facing because you wanted to support We're gonna go, Gorn instead. He's got a six. He's going to get a tap to take it down to a five, four, three. So a corruption check of three. Oh, what about Legolas? Can he help? Oh, I didn't even see him up there. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah. So, corruption check of two. Thank you. <laughs> That's why I That's need right. to keep these guys in the yeah. shorter columns. I, I can still see him. At, I'm at 125% on, on my monitor. I can see him. Clearly. Okay. He So, he made his check for the lure. Yep. I'm going to go down to 110 there. It's small now, but everybody's in their proper place. I don't mind if you want to move sideways. That's fine. It's good. We're good where we are. I've got them okay like this. Uh, and end of turn. Uh, let me see. And I got another... What is it? Two item points. I'm going to discard that. And I'm done. Okay. Now, I've got my wizard's test and... Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, but the 
it's in the other company. They've got to meet up again. Right. Oh, that's going to mess up your fellowship when you meet up. Oh. Can you save it? Do you need to do it right away? Oh, I guess you want to you want to turn it into something useful. Um, what are you saying? Can I do? I it? was wondering. I was wondering how important it was to merge the companies and t test the ring, but then I'm realizing that you wanted these rings because you wanted them to be useful, and you're doing things with them, not just for the points. Oh well. Uh, like Boromir has got the ranger something. actions. The, the, the one, the one I've got now is the Ring of Courage, so it's not not so, in, oh, not so okay. important. Okay. But it, it does give plus two to a warrior. Um, but no, what I can do is because I've picked up a, my third beautiful gold ring, um, so I'll um, I'll get Palando to uh -huh. to get that uh, at the other side. I've got in mind, and he and then he can get the Ring of Courage. Can he? The, can he go? Dance can do something else can he move there with treebeard to the site yet? oh hang on uh hang on where's my notes i was thinking of austin at all uh which i don't think i can can i he can go to the he can go to the gap of ice and doesn't can't you play rings at isengard or no uh, i have to look yeah you can you can. Uh -huh. Oh, righto. Well, that works. Yep, so that's a good thing for them to do. All right. Uh, now my other chaps. Oh, yes. I... So they're at a tap site, so they might as well move somewhere else. So they're at Gladden Fields. What have I got still to come in my deck? Um, I think I've just about got everything. So I'm just looking through the list. Yep, I've got both the factions. Oh, I might have lamb and have I got them? Yep, I've got all three factions. I've got quick beam, tree beard, and Gua here. Have you gotten everything out of your deck? <laughs> just, just about. Um, Me too. The only thing. Me too. <laughs> I've done all my factions, all my allies. This will be the second ring. It'll only be the third ring. Yeah. Yeah. There's not much. There's nothing for them to do, so I think they'll just. There's no point in them moving. We don't think they can just stay. Oh, I'll put them back to Lorien. Just to get the cards moving. Alright, so I'll put her on. Gap of eyes and. does actually help oh no misty mountains doesn't help with gap of eyes and because it's what you're sort of avoiding oh it's just too low yep and it does white mountains doesn't help with it either no i'll use misty mountains on um, the Dunedain, so mm -hmm. that'll help with them. So I'll tap Boromir. And that's all organized. Okay. In the long event phase, I'll play the sun. Mm -hmm. Now I go in 
into the movement hazard phase. So in case you're going to get rid of that sun, hmm. I'll move the Duna down first. They're going to Lorien, so that'll be a slash P. From the Gliden fields. So they're the ones using the Misty Mountain, yeah, so that's mm -hmm. the, that's two hazards. All right. I have no hazards. Oh, and it's a pick up one. I'm going to draw my card. No hazards. All right. So I'll discard Gladden the Fields. Draw back to Nolan. The other company is going to Isengard from Wellinghall, so that's region. So it doesn't really. Oh, it's, yeah, it's be better a... to go via Rohan to avoid the double wilderness. Can't you oh, just go straight from Walden Foothills? Can't you go straight from Walden Foothills to Gap of Ison? Uh... I... No, you oh, can't. Yes. I'm sorry, you can't. I was thinking you were in Fangorn. You are in Fangorn. Oh, that's right. All oh, you have yeah, to do is go Fangorn, Gap of Ison. That was the problem, yeah. Um, your your Morgul Knight comes off too, doesn't it? No. Oh, because I we went through a play deck? It, it stays out uh, because of the will of Sauron. Oh, oh, I forgot about that. Yep. Yeah, see, Sorry. the idea was to make these Nazgul playable, but they're all on the table now, so I can't play any of them, really. So I'm waiting for Kamul to come back so I can make you discard your entire hand. Why can't you... I could be what tapping them. I could tap them and discard them for their effect, but mm. I'm not drawing any Nazgul to attack you because they're all out on the table. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you're holding off to do the. I didn't get the. Uh, I didn't get the Morgul Knight until late, until well after the uh, the Nazgul were out, and I was dropping them out so that Kamul could trigger. I mean, now that it's now that it's a Morgul Knight and everything is Shadowlands, I don't have anything to play for it. Okay. So, yeah, I get you because they're already on the table. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm with you. So I draw. Uh, I draw uh, two. No, I draw. Ah. Two. Oh. <laughs> uh. You've got you've got the one, have you? The... I drew I drew actually I drew both of the last two Nazgul. I drew the Witch King and Kamul. Unfortunately yeah, I have it. a hazard limit of two. So what that means is I have to play Kamul for one oh, and then tap him and then tap him for two. So he counts himself and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cards that you have to discard. Uh, so, so pick your three. And... Yeah, pick your favorite yeah, pick three. three. Yeah, pick <laughs> three, um, So I know I want to keep the gold ring and the ring of courage and the wizard's test, so that makes it easy. So I'll get rid of the rest. There's not really any other mechanism in the game like it to, to make you discard that many cards. Mm. <laughs> and the first time I saw it played, my jaw dropped. I just thought, what? You made me discard my entire hand. Well, at first what they did is they played him, and then they, they didn't have all the Nazgul out, but they made me discard, say, four or five cards, and then they used either Uvatha or the Mouth of Sauron to get Kamul back and did it a second time. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, so that's your two. That's it. No more and hazards. I, yep. Okay. So I'll discard the main call. Mm. Uh, no, that was for Lorium, wasn't it? Yeah. No, I shouldn't have done that. Mm. Uh, 
what well, no that was we just did uh isengard right oh right that's right because i, I had first, two I, yeah. we already did the other guys ah uh, i'm losing track okay so misty mountains discards yeah you're you're so fully, we'll you're fully through to... your movement hazard so you can draw back up It's good the other magic ring appeared. Um, so I'm at nine. I'm going to the side phase. Isengard's got three, three at seven. I've got tree beard. So they would all have to face. He actually, one. tree beard can't face auto attacks. Ah, oh, may not be attacked. Yep. So you'd get a plus one. Right. One of them, yep. All right, so I go. So we put it on the extra one on Baratar. You put it on Baratar, right? Sure. Uh, it doesn't uh, really matter. So he so face attacks. Oh. Damn it. So do I use the face attacks button mm -hmm. for this? Is it is it lagging? Yeah. Is it not doing anything? Or is it giving you a choice? No, of... it's it is there, yeah, face attacks, yeah. Mm hmm yeah, I just you can do that just that so button. you can you can indicate what character. You don't have to. I don't I mean it's on when we're yeah. talking the way we are, I think a lot of the mechanisms in this are to people for people who have no voice channel. Mm. And you use it to indicate what you're doing. But I think when we're playing and you say, I tap Baratar, Baratar and Palando will face it. I tap Baratar and I say, okay, I give him an extra strike. We don't have to do all the, the, the indicating. So he's a... So he's a four, four tapped versus eight. a seven? Oh, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's right. You take it off the character's prowess. Mm -hmm. and add it to the attack. Good. Okay. And so he. Um, next character. So he would be a three versus so a seven? He's a three. Yeah. Tied it? Ah! Tied it. Yeah, that's enough, isn't it? Yep. So down to facing. So I'll play the beautiful gold ring. And one point. Um, now the company's not doing anything, so I go into end of turn. All right. And I'll discard that card. Oh, I didn't need to... Oh, I've got to draw an extra one, yep. Alright. So I'm done. Ah, oh, sorry. I was having a think. I know it. I know the... I know the feeling. Mmm. <laughs> I was just trying to think whether I've got another wizard's test coming or not to be able to play the third ring. Right. I can't remember. I think I've discarded one, so once I play the ring of courage, I think that'll be it for me. Mm -hmm. All right, so Gandalf is going to try to... Uh, yeah, I think I think maybe one more turn each, maybe? Uh, or are yep. you, you thinking more than that? I've run uh, out no, of things to do. What, do I? I can. I can do the. I've just got to. Do I need two turns to play the ring? Do you need to do what? Do I need two turns to play the ring? Oh. Uh, you could move everybody to the same place and test both those rings, right? Oh, can you do? But can you do it with one card? Oh no! I've no, only no. got one test. Oh okay. Well, you want to so test... Palando. Palando's got his own ring. He could test that ring in his, on one turn, right? 
Does do I have, have to be at an untapped site to do no, it? No, no, no. Is it Wizard's Test? Yep. That's all he has to do. The only one that requires you to do it at an untapped site is Ring Lore. Oh, because so I could you're... do it any time. I could have done it in my turn that's just been. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Oh, I, I thought you I had I thought to you wait. realized. I didn't know what cards you had, so I didn't. I couldn't tell you. Yeah. Play that now. Yep. Uh, yeah, he can play it oh, at no, any so... time. As long as it's your turn. Uh, which it... Is it go... still my turn? No, you've started. Go I'll ahead. do it on the no, next turn. Yes, yeah, so one turn. Do it now. You okay. didn't realize you could do it. Go ahead. Get those cards out of your so hand. Play... and. So I play Wizards Test. Uh-huh. Make two rolls. And what am I after? I'm after... A magic ring, a one to seven. Yep. Right. Got it. Oh, that's easy. Yep. So I discard Wizards Test. Uh, I've got a choice. So I've got Magic Ring of Words, which is not, I think the Courage is going to be more useful to me. And I discard the Beautiful Gold Ring and add two for item points. There you go. Right. So he's got an extra plus two. That's handy. Nice. With no maximum. So if he had a sword, and say the sword maxes out at eight, but he's also got the magic ring of courage, that could take him up to yep. a ten. Mm. Yeah, pretty powerful. Yeah, well, well I, I'm pretty sure I've played my other wizard's... Um, test i think i've discarded it so if you just want to play your turn because i i won't have anything else to do okay i got uh i got one more ring i can go after yep we'll do that but yeah m mostly my work was getting everybody out into play mm. Mm. and and playing all the been... playing all the pieces of the puzzle that let them have enough influence to control each other yep All right. So we're so going to want to organize. You're looking towards your free council corruption checks, making yeah. sure. Yeah. We're going to go. We're going to get greedy. We'll go after one more item. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, first, well, the we... total MPs are pretty similar, aren't they? Yeah, they and are. There's no doubling happening. Yeah. Um, you've got a lot more faction than I do. But I need yeah. to uh, I need to get rid of some of this corruption as usual. So Gandalf is going to tap to try to remove the lure of creation. He needs greater than a six. Got it. Yeah. Aragorn is going to tap to get rid of the lure of expedience. He needs greater than a five. Now he's going to try to get rid of the lure of the senses. He needs greater than a nine. I wasn't. I'm not expecting this one, but I wanted to make sure to get one off. Ah! <laughs> this is good. Suddenly, their their lights feel their hearts feel so much lighter. Yeah. Um. So we're organized. We we'll go to Austin Edhill. So it's Cardolan to Holland. And the sun still applies. So the sun I still applies. But it's actually two shadow lands because of the Morgul Knight. But uh, okay. but it's Cardolan and Holland are the regions. And it's two of ruins and layers. And you can draw one and I can draw one. You have a hazard. I have a hazard limit of six. Yeah, I wish <laughs> I had six to play. Uh, all I've got is um, mm -hmm. a lure of expedience mm -hmm. and no more hazards. I'm going to draw back to nine. OK. 
Okay, I'm at nine, so I'll discard one. Uh, now I pick up a corpse candle. Oh, when, uh, where was that one I needed? <laughs> that would have been brutal. That would have been. Three of them, but they, that would yeah. have gotten me. That would have gotten me so bad. All right. So the sight phase, we enter. Uh, wolves. I think we'll just go ahead and um, we'll tap Gollum, who is a scout, to conceal it. Okay. Because he can't tap for corruption support, but he can tap to play cards that that have skill. And then, oh, Legolas will tap to get a ring. And Aragorn will make a corruption check of four. And we'll go three, two, automatic. So that's it for means, that. Hmm? I was just thinking to myself, that means they'll be tapped for, for the council, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Yeah. Now I'm drawing all the cards that would let me play my Nazgul. This is the card. Yeah. This is the card that I really wanted to have. The Fell Beast. Mm. So what it does is it lets the Nazgul fly in on attack key to a shadow land and it gives him two strikes instead of one but the prowess is decreased by two but that combined with morgul knight lets the nazgul attack where normally it would be wilderness yep so it's pretty it's, a, it's pretty powerful um i like the art. Too. Yeah, that was, they were actually, it was supposed to be a different card. It was supposed to be something like the breeding pits of Mordor. And I don't know what the, mm -hmm. I don't know what the mechanism for that card was going to be, but they got the artwork for it. And then they realized that they wanted, they needed art for this other card. So that's what they used. Okay. Okay. So I've got some corruption checks to make. I do that first because I finished first even though Trader is oh, out. So I can do one discard, can't I? Yeah, you can discard and draw. Okay, so I pick up another friend or three. Did you? I... Did you pick up another friend or three? No, no, I didn't. Oh, I thought you said that you were. I thought that was... Oh, I've already got two on my hand. <laughs> I'm greedy. I was hoping to get the third. <laughs> but I don't think I'll need them. Okay. I checked, but I don't think it... There's anything really. So we're going to look through here and see what, what I've got to check. Legolas has one, so he's automatic. Sam has two, so he's automatic. So he's automatic. Gandalf has none. Pippin has one, he's automatic. I'm going to get to get Aragorn last. Gimli is fine. Mary has one. Mary has three. But he's got a plus two, so he's automatic. Frodo is automatic. Okay, Aragorn, we play a friend or three. Ah, uh, so they're all good. So he made it. He made it. And I think my fellas are pretty good too. Because I've got that fellowship. Yeah, there's mm -hmm. two and one, three. So, oh, so Boromir oh. is minus one and he's got three. But I can play a friend or three. Yeah. Should, which would do it easy. And Palando has got two. Um, but again, I've got another friend or three. Nice. That covers that. Nice. Hmm. So, uh, so you've got 33 to 28 is that right yeah it looks like it my points are correct i'm pretty sure you were Very quick good. to hit that button weren't you <laughs> <laughs> here's something that's kind of funny if we what was making what made me think of this is how close that our points were if we were playing in a tournament 
and we ended up after totaling points and you add or you double points if I don't have any allies or I double points if you don't have any characters or whatever, you know, all the all the minuses and pluses that work out. If the score is tied, the way that they break the tie is they put you put a corruption point on every non-wizard character in the game and everybody makes checks again. Uh, and if it's still tied, you put another corruption point on every non-wizard in the game. And every so it basically goes until someone triggers an, a, a, a failed corruption. And when there's a traitor in play at the end of the game, like there is now, that makes for a really exciting ending. Yeah. Because you don't know, because it comes down to the dice. If it's tied and everybody's adding corruption points and you're just all rolling again, it used to get... A, like a you, you'd have a game that ended that way in a tournament, and there would be a crowd would gather watching to see who, which character failed the corruption check and turned into the traitor and attacked another guy in his company. That was usually what just pulled the pulled the game out from underneath that player was the failed corruption check with the traitor. So, if the the trader triggers us on the first failed corruption check. Yeah. But do you then have to still finish the corruption checks for both companies? Yeah. Or do you just yeah, you do. You have to keep going. It's point. just mayhem. Uh, it's just mayhem. <laughs> uh, so that, yeah, so that trader added to the fail. Uh-huh. The whoever, trader whoever, turns... Whoever fails one first is probably lost. It turns a, it turns a bad loss into a really... I mean, it turns a, a close game mm. into a bad loss. Mm, mm. Oh yeah, so because you go into it tied. Just... If you're gonna be if you're gonna be adding corruption points to see who fails, that's because there's a total tie of the game, and the winning factor is the dice. Yep. <laughs> no, I said try to win it down early. It just sat there the whole game. I just didn't trigger enough checks i well you saw me you saw me doing everything i could to avoid it Mm. you you did a few but they were all quite low checks they were they were low percentage to fail Mm -hmm. but they but you were having to do them so yeah it could have it could have triggered well fun Uh, that was a good game yeah yeah it was interesting to see the fellowship and well, they were all the, on the table, just not all on the one side. And the Kamul discard. Mm, yes. He's it's, annoying. It's funny. It's funny because my next deck, which I'm going to have to go and revisit, uh-huh. before we started this game, I had I had gone with that strategy. I, I thought I'll put all the Nazgul in and I read up on them all. Uh-huh. And I was all set to, to do the... Of what you did to me to you well do it you, you're welcome to uh, try it out no could, because as you say because i've seen it now I'd, I'd, oh, yeah. oh i don't mean i didn't want to talk I'm you out sick. of i didn't want to talk you out of something oh, you'd no. already put together if you want to play it i think you should i'm what i meant was you don't need to see me play it twice i've played no, it once no. i'm not going to play it again but that was kind of like when we were swapping decks to see how the each other's deck played uh yeah yeah, Do I think I, what I might, I put what I would think about doing is I might leave out the one that triggers the the discard, but just I might stick with using them for their for their second effects for their uh-huh. short events and uh-huh. and do them that way. If if I decide to keep them in, a nice thing about anyway. them is they're as hazard permanent events. They're they're always playable as long as you have the hazard limit. You can put. We can always put one down on the table, so you get the cards out of your hand quickly. There are a lot of uh, a lot of people used to play a one ring strategy. You know, on your on your turn, you're trying to get the ring and you're trying to destroy it, and you're trying to go through your deck as quickly as possible. So the Nazgul go in mostly as the hazards. The hazards. The only point of the hazards is play cards that are as playable as possible and get them out onto the table so you can draw your resources and you can get your ring and you can go destroy it. So there used to be a lot of full Nazgul decks like this that would play with a one ring deck. Yeah, okay. 
but they've they've since yeah. made a lot of cards that that sort of rebalance the the uh the offset because like you see there's not yeah. really without praise to elbereth or something like that uh there's another card wizard's river horses that is a spell oh, that yeah. the wizard yeah. can use to get rid of all of the nazgul but yeah but aside from that, there's not much you could do in the first set to get rid of them. So yeah, it's it could get annoying with the especially when they're yeah. discarding your cards. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well I played those I tried those dragons again, but I mm. I just don't think I don't think I would try it again. Like it's just too low percentage. It's just uh huh. That you just can't play them with this set, with the restriction of this set. You've got to be very lucky that your if your opponent's moving in the right areas. Well, you saw too. I didn't really attack you with Nazgul. I got you with the other creatures that were the the fillers in the deck to 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 round out the number of creatures that I had, because Nazgul only count as a half a creature when you're adding up to get to twelve creatures. Uh, ten. Ten. Well, ten they went from ten yeah. to twelve eventually. Yep. Yeah. Um, so we're yeah. yeah we're playing to ten. We're playing, but they would still only count like the nine Nazgul and the Mouth of Sauron would count as five creatures. Oh, is that is that the rule in um, the Wizards? Yeah. Yeah. They said oh. because they're anything that can play as a creature or event counts as half a creature for purposes of your total number of creatures in your deck to meet the minimum requirement. I've got a feeling that I would need to revisit my next deck anyway because I think I was treating them as being one hazard each. Yeah, one creature each? Yeah, one creature each, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I think. Oh, no, 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 I've got something else. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, so I'll see you Sunday night, Monday morning with new deck. Sounds good. Um, I will bring... I'm, I may revisit a deck. I was looking through... I, I haven't finished. I've been spending a lot of time doing other things and didn't get a chance to really build one. But I saw one that I liked that didn't perform well before and I feel like it just didn't get a good chance. I might try it mm. again. You might rework it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it back. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Because you're doing all this work with the tournament, aren't you? Right. And I've been That's playing right. a bunch That's of people right. who want to test their decks, and I've been playing oh. so many games. I said, I feel like I'm getting burnt out on something I love. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, if if you want to, if if in a given week you want to cut back to one because you've no, just been man. playing uh -uh. too much. Uh uh. Oh, this understand. is fun. This is, I enjoy it too much. <laughs> I can't say no. 